Now, some good news if you're a Starlink user in Southern Africa. Now, while Starlink ticks a few boxes in being a good and reliable internet option, it has two inherent weaknesses. The first being poor upload speeds. And the second, very high latency. Now, Starlink has made a huge step in resolving one of those issues. Now, if your guess was poor upload speeds, then you are in fact very wrong. In fact, satellite technologies are infamous for poor upload speeds and Starlink is no exception. Actually, Starlink made a move in resolving the latency issue that has been plaguing it in Southern Africa. Now, for those that have no idea what latency is, in simple terms, this is the time it takes when you send a request on your phone or computer and the time it takes to get a response. A good example of latency as work is when you're making a WhatsApp call. You know the time it takes you when you say something and the user on the other end of the line hears you and gives you a response back? That's basically latency. That delay that occurs during that time is latency. And in most cases, those who are mainly affected by latency are online gamers, streamers, and those who do video conferencing and online traders, etc. Now latency is measured in milliseconds. So the closer you are to zero, the better. The higher, the more the latency. So now that we have a rough idea of what latency is, let's talk about latency in Southern Africa. Unlike other parts of the continent, Southern Africa has the highest latencies on the African continent, with an average of between 100 to 170 milliseconds, which is a stark contrast to countries in West Africa, namely Nigeria, Benin, and Ghana, which have latencies of between 28 to around 50 milliseconds. Now, this is because Starlink built three ground stations in Nigeria. So the missing piece was a ground station in Southern Africa. A ground station is a point of presence or gateway that connects the Starlink network to the rest of the internet. In simple terms, the closer you are to a ground station, the lower the latency. And the reason why latencies were so high is because Southern African Starlink users were being routed through Frankfurt, Germany, or other parts of Europe to connect to the rest of the internet instead of the closest ground station in Africa. Luckily for us, Starlink built a ground station in Kenya and they've started migrating Starlink users in Southern Africa to that point of presence. So when you run a speed test on fast.com, on the servers, you should see Nairobi, Kenya, and better yet, you should see better latencies. Some Zimbabwean Starlink users who were sharing their latencies on X after being migrated to the Nairobi point of presence were getting good latencies, some as low as 29 milliseconds, which is very good. Now imagine if they build these ground stations in Zimbabwe. Mama. So that's it guys, that's the news. If you're a Starlink user in Southern Africa, you should expect better latencies. If you found this video useful, give it a thumbs up. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next video. Uh,